It is well known that Hong Kong's subway system is one of the best in the world in almost every metric imaginable. But what are some of the amazing facts that make the city's mass transit railway, or MTR, so efficient? Today, we take a look at what makes Hong Kong's MTR unlike any other metro system in the world. Stick around for a very surprising fact in the end that only few people know. Starting from its inception in 1979 with just a single line, the MTR has grown into a sprawling network with 11 lines, covering over 270 kilometers and serving more than 5.6 million passengers daily. It's not just a transit system, it's the lifeblood of the city, connecting people, powering the economy, and even setting global standards for metro systems everywhere. So why has the MTR become so integral to Hong Kong? The Punctuality King First up, let's talk about punctuality. The MTR boasts a 99.9% .9 on-time rate. Imagine never having to worry about being late because of train delays. In order to achieve this level of dependability the MTR employs state-of-the-art technology and rigorous maintenance schedules to keep everything running like clockwork. And it's not just about being on time, these trains are so well scheduled that during peak hours, you'll find a train arriving every two minutes. You practically don't even need to look at a timetable because the next train is always just about to arrive. It's no wonder that the MTR is often hailed as the world's most reliable metro system. Clean as a whistle. You'll never find a cleaner metro system. The only other system that comes close to Hong Kong's in terms of cleanliness is the one of Singapore. Cleaning robots and a dedicated staff make sure everything stays sparkling. And it's not just about keeping things tidy, the MTR takes cleanliness to a whole new level. They employ special antimicrobial coating on high-contact surfaces like handrails and elevator buttons, reducing the risk of spreading germs. Plus, they've got an army of cleaning staff that works around the clock, so whether you're taking the first train of the day or the last, you'll find the stations and carriages just as immaculate. It also helps that rules such as no food or drinks on the trains are strictly being enforced. It's this commitment to cleanliness that sets Hong Kong's MTR apart from the rest. The Octopus Card The Octopus Card isn't just a metro pass. You can use it at convenience stores, vending machines, and all over the city. The Octopus Card system was one of the world's pioneering contactless smart card systems when it was introduced in 1997, setting the standard for similar systems globally. And it's not just about making your commute more convenient, the card is so deeply integrated into Hong Kong life that you can even use it to pay at parking meters and recreational facilities like swimming pools. You can recharge it easily at stations, online, or even through an app, making it an incredibly flexible and essential part of living in or visiting Hong Kong. So whether you're buying groceries or catching a movie, the Octopus card has got you covered. Speedy Gonzales. These trains are really fast. The MTR covers over 270 kilometers of track at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour, and reaching up to 135 kilometers per hour on the airport express line. But the speed isn't just about how fast the trains move, it's also about the efficiency of the system as a whole. The trains have frequent stops yet still manage to maintain a high average speed. In fact, the airport express line can get you from the airport to the city center in just 24 minutes. And let's not forget the seamless integration with other subway lines or other forms of public transport like buses and ferries, which makes it incredibly easy to get from point A to point B. Furthermore new lines are regularly being built, like the Tung Chung Line extension set to open in 2023, or also the Northern Link which is currently scheduled to start operation in 2027. The network is designed for speed and efficiency, and it delivers on both. The Energy Saver The whole system is also astonishingly eco-friendly. Regenerative braking systems on MTR trains convert the energy back into electricity, making it one of the greenest options to travel. These regenerative braking systems can recover as much as 20% of the energy consumed during acceleration. That's a massive win for sustainability. However the MTR corporation doesn't stop there, they also implement various green technologies like LED lighting and solar panels in stations to reduce their carbon footprint. The company's dedication to sustainability has won them numerous awards, affirming their commitment to not just moving people, but also to moving towards a greener future. It's a win-win situation for both commuters and the planet. Shopping Malls MTR stations are not just stations, many of them also act as shopping malls. You can grab a coffee, shop for clothes, and even get a haircut without leaving the station. These MTR malls take convenience to a new level. 
And it's not just about commerce, these malls are cleverly designed to ease the flow of commuters. Wide passageways, clear signage, and strategically placed exits mean you can shop without ever feeling like you're getting in the way of hurried travelers. It's a retail ecosystem built with the commuter in mind, offering everything you could need and then some, all without leaving the station premises. Some of these stations even go a step further and have high-rise residential buildings and office towers directly integrated. This leads to a situation where many Hong Kongers are able to travel entirely indoors from their apartment to their office, even if they are in the opposite part of the city. Accessibility Champ For those with special needs, MTR's got you covered. Braille plates, tactile paths, and audible train announcements are just a few ways they make life easier for everyone. But let's delve deeper into this commitment to accessibility. The MTR has been a pioneer in providing services like lower ticket counters for wheelchair users, wider turnstiles to accommodate wheelchairs, and priority seats for those who need them. Additionally, they've implemented mobile apps and station features that assist visually or hearing impaired passengers in navigating the system more comfortably. The trains themselves are also designed with accessible seating and space for wheelchairs. Overall, it's a system designed with the needs of every passenger in mind, making it one of the most accessible metro systems in the world. Artsy Stations Some stations are like many art galleries, featuring unique designs and installations. But there's more to it than just eye-catching visuals. These art installations often tell stories or convey messages that are meaningful to the local community. For example, the Kowloon Tong Station has mosaics that depict scenes from famous Chinese fables, giving commuters a glimpse into traditional culture. Many stations feature works from local artists, providing them a platform to showcase their talent. Additionally, the art isn't just static, some stations host rotating exhibits, keeping things fresh and engaging. This integration of art into everyday life not only enhances the commuting experience but also serves as a testament to Hong Kong's vibrant cultural landscape. So the next time you're in the MTR, don't just rush to your train, take a moment to appreciate the art around you. Safety first. The MTR has state-of-the-art safety features like fire-resistant trains and closed-circuit TV cameras everywhere. The MTR operates a multi-layered safety management system that covers everything from daily operations to emergency responses. For instance, they have early warning systems for natural disasters like typhoons and an efficient evacuation plan for any unforeseen incidents. The MTR proactively seeks to reduce risks by continuously investing in new technologies and training. So whether you're a tourist or a daily commuter, you can ride with peace of mind knowing that safety is a top priority for the MTR system. Affordability One of the most amazing things about Hong Kong's MTR is its affordability. With a single journey ticket costing less than one US dollar, you can travel across the city without burning a hole in your wallet. The fare system is distance-based, meaning you only pay for the distance you travel. There are also various discounts available, like the early bird discount for commuters who travel before the morning rush and concessionary fares for children, students, and seniors. What's more, the Octopus card often provides even cheaper rates compared to single journey tickets. And if you're a tourist, they offer some great deals like the Tourist Day Pass, which gives you unlimited travel for a day at a fixed price. All these features make it one of the most affordable metro systems globally, giving everyone the chance to experience world-class commuting without breaking the bank. And now, for a surprise fact that you probably didn't see coming. Did you know that the MTR system is so top-notch that it's been exported to other cities? That's right. The MTR Corporation doesn't just operate in Hong Kong, they've actually won contracts to operate and manage several other metro systems around the globe. We're talking about cities like London, Stockholm, and even Melbourne. They're also involved in major railway projects in mainland China like Beijing and Shenzhen, proving that their efficiency and effectiveness is sought after both domestically as well as internationally. So, the next time you're riding a smooth, efficient metro in one of these cities, you might just be experiencing a bit of Hong Kong's world-class MTR magic. That was a quick ride through Hong Kong's MTR wonders. Have you experienced this world-class subway system? What's your favorite thing about it? Drop a comment below. Also if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to watch our next video for more amazing facts and stories.